Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Cells this time. It is not a daily, this time it is, is going to be us getting all the way... Oh, 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 good start. Getting all the way using our uh, skills and wits and amazing timing and judgment to do things like that. I do like this uh, bleed shield because a good parry is hard to come by. Look. I was, I was actually just trying to test whether that parrying a um, a uh, arrow counted as a parry. It, it appears to, but I don't see why I should have to uh, time these things with such precision that I have to have my shield up when two things are attacking me at the same time, even though they're going to ride slightly out of sync. That's a bit rude. Anyway, we can get through this without getting it. We've just beaten a daily on this exact level. Well, wow, that counted. I really like that. Um, we've just beaten a daily on this very uh, area, this this biome, if you want to use that word. Is that the word we're using? I think so. Get off the screen. Um, without getting hit at all, including beating the concierge at the end of it all. So, I would be very surprised, although actually not very surprised at all, if we uh, ended up just capitulating uh, on... I mean, <laughs> I'd be ludicrously surprised if we didn't make it through this oh, it's, um, uh, level at all. <laughs> I don't think we've regressed that far, but I do believe that we have the uh, occasion to um, have maybe off days. <laughs> In which maybe uh, actually succeeding at every minute task. Well, we could have a, maybe a little bit of an issue. But if I just continue talking like this with ever more lucid and... and, and uh, uh, what is... Why is it I can never remember the... Eloquent. I can never remember the word eloquent when I'm trying to be eloquent. But I, I can use it all the time. Perfectly happy. I have no problem with using the word eloquent. Except, you know, when it doesn't apply. But I can't remember it when I'm trying to be it, and it's one of the... It is on in and of itself an eloquent word, right? Eloquence and the word eloquent sort of work together. I quite like that. Like, if you don't know how to be eloquent, you probably start off by not having the word eloquent available to you. But I find when I'm writing, I can be a lot more uh, uh, eloquent, there's another word, articulate, than when I'm talking. Which is interesting because I don't particularly um, eloquate. <laughs> I don't orate. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, any better or worse when... Um, come on. I don't... I'm not any better or worse at speaking... Uh, thinking words, so to speak. When I'm writing or when I'm uh, speaking, it's like... When I'm on the spot to speak, uh, I don't think we need to read all this. I can't. Left his bag behind him. It's been quite a panic. A oh, hundred whole gold. Why we? Uh, you know, when I'm on the spot, like in this particular situation, I can't remember any of my words. But sometimes when I'm writing, and I do write, people write. Okay, no, you can't read it. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Let's have this. Um. You just... I can flow much more easily. I, it's like I already know what I'm trying to say way before I've even started saying it. Um, as long as it's in text format. I should probably observe this phenomenon when I'm talking... Oh, this is decent. Thank you. I should probably observe this phenomenon when I'm typing as though I'm talking, i.e. In, in chat, in instant chat, like Discord. Because do I actually need to take the time to construct the sentence? I know that I realise halfway through that I've written the wrong word. Hmm. Just like I've realised halfway through that I should have made more juice <laughs> before I started this pecking long... Uh, this inevitably hour-long thingy just now. Um, uh, I'm going to try it, but you'll forgive me for failing this run, because I have considerable problem. Also, where are you putting... <laughs> that was further away than the door. Um, 
you'll th hopefully you'll forgive me when I fail this run because I already have problems with this loser constantly walking off edges and grabbing onto things and just basically moving in ways that I don't expect. Right? So that could be great. Could be terrible. I'm not going to spend any money on it. Not that I can. Um, I don't know that we need to do any of this, to be honest with you. Right to plus quality. Nah, we... I feel like we're likely to find a weapon that will... If we can get full greens, that would be really good. Um, do I want any green survival typing mutations to begin with? Yes. I like that one. We don't need that because we've got food delivered to us by the wall. <laughs> As you do. People hide in. Who is put in, in... Because the wall in its made... <sighs> do you understand? Am I making sense here? Uh, yeah, this is going to get really confusing, so I reserve the right to screw this up completely. Although, the response... I, I meant to do that. Uh, from the charge forward is actually quite stupendous. I parried that. Okay. If you charge forward, it will interrupt them, it seems. Oh, what? Run. I got trapped in the corner. Nobody traps headless one in the corner. The headed one. Whatever. Leave me alone. See that? It's, I have to wait even longer after the actual... Um, oh, that was really good. Actually, I'm, I'm a fan of that. I have to wait even longer after the, um, the uh, exclamation mark to parry the thing. Because if I don't, it, it charges forward. Uh, and in charging forward, it... it Nice. Okay, I'm enjoying that. Um, but when it charges forward, before, if, if it's not ready for the parry, it um, causes us a couple of problems. That wasn't correct. I'm practicing. I uh, apologize for the damage I'm taking, but I am practicing. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm not taking the damage on purpose, I'm trying to say, but I'm, I'm intentionally just not like dealing with the situation correctly. I'm trying to deal with it shieldly in order to... Uh, just Im improve that particular skill because it's going to be necessary for a while here, I think. Nice. So it pushes the enemies quite far, and uh, I don't know if you realised what was happening earlier, but when I parried the, um, the wormy dude... Nice. Nice. When I parried the worm, all my forward momentum was applied to all of the uh, little bombs that it dropped behind it because it was my shield that killed it. Which... How? Yeah, it, it just does damage. It does. Hang on, am I talking nonsense? I think it does damage. Not 100% sure. A little bit uh, ambiguous in, in the way it's described on the tooltip, the, the, the screen there, but... I, I fairly, oh, we should have done a boss cell. My mistake. I completely forgot how good I am at this game. So I, I didn't actually uh, think in those terms. But yeah, it looked like my shield was complicit in killing the, the enemy earlier. And it pushed all of its bombs, not just a couple of them, that was the best part. All of its bombs got sent in one big cluster uh, against anything that would try to get in my way. Yeah, you see, if you... Um, I mean, that was pretty decent. But if, if you are too early on your attack now, then the assault part of the assault shield just interrupts it and you don't get a parry, which is okay, but I think it's the parry that's costing me the cause that's uh, saving me the... Uh. <laughs> we should just shut these, by the way. Oh, that's the point, actually. I realise, now that it's happening, that we don't... Um, we don't necessarily... I don't think I can get anything out of this, no. Um... Once. No, I forgot. Wait, it'll come back to me. What was I saying just now? What am I talking about? Oi. <laughs> right, we don't have anything with a cooldown that is worth me parrying. Essentially. Mm. Oh, what? I asked for it. Can't sell that. That was worth the cost, I think. I don't even know if I'm going to be any good at this. 
but we'll find out. It's a survival weapon, which is basically why I bought it. It's got a really long warm-up, so I think I may have doomed this run. Uh, and the reason I say I've doomed this run is not to try and sandbag the fact that we're going to lose like, around the next corner, but um, because I have a shield that I don't understand, you've already seen me take some silly damage trying to use the shield, um, just trying to practice with the shield, so I, I don't want that to happen too many times, especially now that we're on 34 kills. I'm probably going to start playing, at least trying to play a little bit better, but um, I do want to succeed at 60 kills. Nope! I didn't know how to get off of this. Here's another one. I, like, how? Some situations I just don't know how to deal with. Um, but because I've bought, uh, yeah, literally bought a weapon I don't understand and won a shield that I don't understand. Yeah. We, we're likely to find ourselves in a bit of a situation wherein we keep taking damage that we could have avoided if we'd done things differently to begin with. Uh, can we, yeah. We can always remember that if those, um, those bombs become a problem, we can just sort of... Like, not <laughs> just push them, just get rid of them. Stop grabbing onto the edges when I want to go down but not get squished. Yay! This is gonna get really difficult before too long. <laughs> yeah, hit me. Nice. I'm a uh, glutton for punishment, obviously. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm in a run that is very, very unfamiliar to me. And therefore, I'm constantly going on about the run rather than... It's been several weeks since we were at Fosdem, and yet... I have not had more than one... Ami oh, hello. I'm going to say no for now. Because we are in uh, don't get hit mode. Not uh, open the challenge mode. But that's okay. We don't, not everything has to be about the challenges, okay? <laughs> you can't even. Okay. Two more. So if we just keep doing that, I think we're golden. I don't want either of those. And currently I'm not prepared to faff around trying to sell them. I'd much rather... Ooh. Oh, no. I don't like that. Okay, good. I mean, I don't dislike it. It's not like I'm dismissing it as an option. Nice, he's done it. Right. Leave. <laughs> Never come back. We can uh, do the challenge drift now if we really want to. We might as well try. We're not going to win any points for speed, that's for sure. So, let's see what we can get. I'd like to get a better amulet. It'd be nice if I could be given the opportunity to open it and... Uh, it's, oh, it's, it's a plus one to um, survival as well, which is actually really nice. We've already got seven survival because we haven't yet been given an opportunity to not put <laughs> a point in survival. This looks difficult. Don't like that. That's all Prince of Persia shit there. What's going on? Hey. I'm not into that at all. Ooh. Is there timing on these? Seems random. Hold your breath. Don't talk. I haven't said anything about my trip to Belgium, even though it was several forevers ago. I'm just going to switch these and do that and sell this. Um, because we've been playing such games that I've had to talk about what we're doing. And it, But is this one of the games where I don't have to? Maybe. Let me think. I will try and dredge up some uh, memorial information. That is information stored in long-term memory at this point. Uh, about my, my trip to Belgium. Do you know what? I... I have been to Belgium, not for Fosdem. Uh, I went, I drove, but I didn't actually go to Belgium. I went to the Netherlands, where Belgium is on the wrong side of. No, the other way around. The Netherlands is on the wrong side of Belgium. So I drove to Belgium, or, or through Belgium, I guess. On the way out, it was fine. Infantry bow. It's nice, but not today. I'm trying things anew. I'm, I'm... Anyway. There's a, there's a decent anecdote because uh, I went to see a person who I'm still in contact with. An internet person who I see on the tweets every now and then. Yeah. But back in the day, I mean, you 
friends on the internet come and go just as easily as friends in real life. Which is, uh, it isn't, I'm going to say it's particularly sad, but um, it's just the, the natural churn of life. Isn't it weird how when, like, death is a thing that we are super upset about, but just drifting away? We don't worry about it. It happens. I guess it's the, um, it's what Lawrence called the, uh, the, the frog in a blender thing, right? Because <clears throat> there's an urban myth, which I am given to understand is a myth. But, uh, not a blender, a frog in a frog boiling. Um, a frog in a, in a boiling water will, in, in, to, in this myth, um, not know that it's being boiled. If you put a frog in hot water, it goes, ah, hot water, get me out of here. But if you put a frog in... Uh, cold water and, and then heat up the water frog goes this is fine everything's fine very happy that this uh weapon is available to me actually by the way look at that what do i win what's what's critting how do i win crits from this if you quickly till kill two wow six seconds for simply killing two enemies in a row so once you kill two enemies you basically guarantee crits until you run out of things to kill that's grand um yeah i believe it's a myth I don't know how they would test this ethically, but I mean, <laughs> believe it's a myth. Uh, I don't know how the myth came about ethically, to be fair. So, see, that's how you do that. Um, but, you know, myth we have. So, there is a convenient anecdote whereby, as things change gradually, we, we don't mind. I don't see the other exit. Can you see? It could be there. It could be over there, okay. Kind of assumed it would be up here. And kind of lay out of the floor. Uh, so as people drift away from us socially, we sort of occasionally go, "Hey, do you remember X, Y, Z?" And you go, "Yeah." And you go, "What happened to them?" Oh, I don't know. Um, could be dead for all I know. Right? Uh, I'm not trying to make light of, of death, and I don't want anybody to feel that I. I if, Anybody who's recently suffered a lot. You have my condolences. It's not like I, I'm immune to the idea of death being sad. Like, I cannot abide the idea that anybody close to me could ever die. Um, but I, I guess it depends who it is as well, right? Because, oh, I press Y, but I don't think I press it in time. Uh, your... Well, your parents, for example, provided you have a, a good relationship with them, they're going to be with you for your entire life, or their entire, <laughs> the rest of their life, right? Um, I mean, on the one hand, knock on wood, your parents have a long and healthy life yet to live, but on the other hand, knock on wood, oh, there's no uh, time door, I always forget that. Uh, the other hand, knock on wood, you outlive them, right? So that's a difficult one, isn't it? I forgot to throw, oh, I didn't, it's just I don't think anything in that level does it. These are all bad. <laughs> For me right now, anyway. Um, 950, 600, 950. I'll, I'll take the money and run, but it could have been better. Uh, no one's expecting that your parents will live forever, but they will be around you and with you for the rest of... like the, the cross-section of your natural lives is. Increased by 300%. Completely protects you for three seconds. That's probably going to be something that you want when you're heading towards the end game, right? When it's nothing but bosses over and over again. Uh, I'm happy with this, but I don't know if I want to spend that much money on it. This is something we might want to upgrade. It's a lot of deeps. More damage and biters. That seems fine. Plus, it means that I can still deal decent crits towards the end of it. Like if I if I've taken damage myself, uh, the type following successful parry inflicts a lot of damage. So the parry ones here are going to be really good at the end of the game, even though there's a boss. Uh, I think I, I didn't confirm, but we did learn that a, more than one parry on the same enemy doesn't count. But I would assume that more than one parry against a boss does count because the boss is like a, a perpetual enemy until you beat it. Right? Um, so I'm, I'm guessing that's a thing. We don't really need any... We don't really need anything else, to be fair. So let's... That's a death of an enemy, and this is a parry. And that's 2.3%. But we parry way less than we kill things. 
Um, these are all really good when you get when you go balls deep into a survival run. They're terrible if you're not balls deep into a survival run, but if you're actually doing your parrying correctly, I'm actually now spoiled for choice. Uh, I think we're okay well, on, on damage right now, so let's go with... Let's go with this, because there's going to be more of them, <laughs> basically. I don't know if that's really the right... They may even balance so that it literally doesn't matter which one you take. But um, for now, I'm going with what what we did take. Just because on the Ancient Sewers, there's going to be so many things we can't parry. I don't think you can parry the the spikes. Although I'm kind of willing to try. Because I'm going to get whacked by them anyway, right? The difficult thing is, I don't know... I don't have a... Um, I'm not calibrated for the spikes that come from mushrooms. Which is annoying, because they keep walloping me. Did you see me not roll there? Because my instinct said you are going the right speed when you... That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for that. I wonder if you can... I um... wonder if you can get any more blueprints out of the... the, the mushroom, actually. I want that. I'm really happy with my kit, but I would not mind maybe replacing the hunter's grave at some point um i'm aware that perhaps we're not gonna go the right direction to get new stuff or possibly we're gonna fight an elite as a result and screw it up because chucking the hunter's grenade a second time is horrible and hard <laughs> bad at it uh this is fine i don't care about this um but what I was saying was, your your friends are often related to your circumstance, and then you, if you're like me, you have a few essentially lifelong friends, right? Which is not uncommon, especially for people like us. I don't know if I want to do that, because these mushrooms keep just owning me. Yeah, like that, you bar steward. Oh, great human of the bar. Um... But, uh, yeah, people like probably you and I, we tend to, I not say mate for life, <laughs> but that, but for friends, you know? Whereas, uh, I honestly don't know if there are other types of people. It's just that some people tend to socialize more and therefore may be seen to collect friends and, and discard them. Whereas, in fact, that's not really fair on what's happening. It's not, it's not what's really happening. Let me parry it. <laughs> um, I feel one thing. Have it do. <laughs> I appreciate that if you get in first, this thing will basically win every every match for you. Uh, but if you don't. I can just do damage by charging them with a the shield. I like that. Nice. Um, yeah, that but for friends. Like, some people may be m more or less social, and I think those people may be unfairly sort of criticized as possibly having a, sort of a, a, a wanton attitude towards friendships, whereas you might prefer to be considered as somebody who's a little bit more selective, um, especially if you are not a particularly outgoing person, but then, like, those things seem to work side by side in that maybe those exact people are not the ones who want to be... Um, let's sell it. No, the, the, the people who are more social are seem to be more superficial because... This is not fair, by the way. I mean, it's perfectly fair because I didn't look down before I leaped. Left. Go away. I can't hit these. <laughs> Which makes me sad because I don't have something that I can throw at them. I mean, not. I'm not going to plan. <laughs> I would like to replace this uh, biter's grenade with something else. And the reason for that is that the biter's grenade is... Don't get me wrong, I really like the biters. Um, I would prefer to have something that would do an instant, sort of instant damage. Because of this exact situation here. 
where I, I can't do anything because the biter's grenade doesn't do anything. It's the, the biters themselves that do something. So you have to chuck as many biters as it takes to counteract the other biters by which I'm even bit. Yeah? That is an elite. Maybe we should try it. I wonder if we can just, like... I see it. Ah, I saw the telegraph. Did you see the telegraph? I saw the telegraph. By the way, stop reading the telegraph. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. That was not what I was hoping. Uh, yeah. I think I would actually prefer the Topaz Amulet, even though it loses us one point of survival. We'll put it back. But anyway, I was visiting s such a friend who has... Uh, <laughs> the trouble is, you can't speak ill of the... Still alive, right? <laughs> it's, it's almost like it's not my fault that they have changed their interaction with me. And it's not my fault that I've changed my interaction with them. It's just we have changed. We're doing different things. But anyway, they live in the Netherlands. I like it in the Netherlands. Uh, I found it very friendly. Um, and I, I like the Dutch language, which is Dutch. <laughs> That's another weird thing about English. Say, like, the French language. It's like, it's just French. The language is French. It's not the French language. I mean, it is the French language because of the way English works. But, like, it, why say that? Just say French. Wait. Ah! Let me, um... And then check all these, get them done. Nice, nice. So the, the biters are helping. It's just not, not correctly. <laughs> not in the way I'd like, okay? It's a spiteful sword. Is it any better? I shouldn't think so. Say this is a letter, my mistake. Uh, really not. <laughs> you have to jump, get up a lot earlier in the morning to make that seem like a good idea. Um, I, live, I like the Netherlands. Like I said, Dutch language is, is grand, in my opinion. Also, I'd like to know if this is worth doing. Oh, they, they seem to have changed it. It's just money now. Yeah, let's uh, leave that. Maybe they did fix that bug. I was talking to myself in the shower remembering this bug. I think they fixed it. Because obviously getting stuck in there just because you chose not to uh, bother with... Oh. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, I tried to roll out of it. I still have yet to learn how to deal with these mushrooms. Nice. That seems to have the same attack sort of semantics, as it were, as, um, as something else. I can't think what. I feel like I've used it before, so it's making it feel more familiar. Obviously, <laughs> that's, what, that's what familiar means. Use it before. It seems before right? I guess it actually means of family. Um. Yeah, I like Dutch. It's a decent language. It's a fun language. It's it's like German, but softer, gentler, like more friendly. <laughs> it's like if cows spoke German. Um, uh, obviously, that could be construed as very rude. I'm, be I'm being honest and gentle with cows, right? Swarm 4 plus. Um, but, <laughs> le, le mood. I mean, I know cows speak French. Well, let's not get distracted by particulars. I wonder if I can zap those uh, those birds, those explodey bat things, with, uh, with with just a shield charge. Actually, why? That's better. That's what we like to see. There's so many things happening that the sound engine couldn't cope. I like it. Um, so, we were in the Netherlands and we spent some time there, but it was winter time. Uh, which is not a good time to be in countries that get a lot of snow. I mean, it is if you like the snow, and I do, so it was. But for the purposes of this anecdote, it wasn't good because the reason it wasn't good is uh, I had a sports car with rear wheel drive and so everything that I did there could be something on the other side of that chest room that I didn't notice. Go and have a look. Uh, everything that I did was terrifying. There is. Come here. 
And a sleuth. Ooh. <laughs> so, being in the Netherlands itself was fine, apart from, to his eternal credit, the chap I was going to visit came out in the snow on a bicycle um, to help me find his house, which I, I hasten to add, this was a time of when TomTom Tom was the DPS, the du, du, du maison. Yeah, DPS of choice, I don't know what the French for that would be. DPS of choice would be the... Uh, the Tom Tom or the Garmin, but probably the Tom Tom because you're not an idiot. Here's an interesting thing. I'm gonna say because we've gone with um, because we've gone with what we have gone with, i.e., the shield meta here, and indeed the mutations that make use of shields, which is what I mean by shield meta, not not just the fact that we have a shield. That's not good enough. Um, in the red. The monsters room. So this is the law that teaches us about the. Um, thank you. The the conjunctivitis boss. Um. Oh, hang on. Message from Jen. Everyone has to know what it says. Why do waffles take two hours to arrive? Cause you ordered them from children. Wait. Did you go to waff? on or whatever it's called or did you go to the one by Asda place in rugby I believe is called waffling on I actually intended to pick the the survival that time as well it wasn't just because I moused over it by accident place in rugby I think it's called waffling on and it's a waffle house to some extent think about England if you're not from England Insufferable Crypt might be where we go now. I'm glad I went through there. There's a little bit there, but I, I don't care. Um, we have to make do with the infrastructure that has been here for hundreds of years, right? When it comes to where we put shops and stores and, 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 and um, you know, I really wish that I hadn't <laughs> still got the Hunter's Grenade. I will spend this money this time because I've still got to have 8,000 left as a result. Although, I probably could have done better with that. Um, so now we're going to fight a boss. So we really want something like... Maybe the parry? I don't know if I want to try and parry conjunctivitis. 4%. So I think I want to inflict damage with the parry rather than after the parry. We have to fit shops and restaurants and things like that in buildings that have existed since the Industrial Revolution or earlier. You know, there are pubs in this country that have existed for nearly a thousand years. Not in, not even in one way or another, quote unquote. Literally, probably the oldest pub in the country, uh, as it stands, is probably about 900 years old, right? It's going to be really hard to hit with melee. He says immediately hit me with melee. That was terrible. Don't do what I did. Oh, children, please. Nice. Let's do a lot of damage at once. Apparently these um, bosses do have a hard cap. This enemy cannot be transformed here, unfortunately. So, trying to... Uh, I'm going to beat it up the way I am is... There's a limit to how much damage you can do, so trying to use a heavily bossy, uh, like a weapon with a heavy amount of damage is gonna be trouble. These biters, by the way, are doing a great job of... This is a really bad fight so far, by the way. Uh, baiting the enemy to... Oops, not what I meant to do. I think I would like it if I could uh, parry that. I'm sure I can. I don't know if I am capable of it myself. As a, as, a, as a player. I think I'm a bad person and I don't deserve nice things. Nice, do that more often. Yeah, this is really difficult to hit. Run! Oh no. I wish I hadn't used two of my heals already. Seems like really bad manners. Naughty player. <laughs> no cookie. Why? Why did you go back so quickly? Um, 
So we have to fit these... Like, all of our infrastructure has to fit in buildings that were built before people were the size that they are, right? The tiny buildings. There's a pub in England that is... No, there's a pub in England. There's a pub in... Um, there's a pub in Rugby itself, which is really old and you can barely fit inside it. Look, I'm finding it extremely difficult to actually attack this enemy. That biter damage is insane! <laughs> and I don't mean biters in the Walking Dead sense. Well, I could. Mm. Game needs more zombies. I pressed the wrong button. My mistake. I wonder if you can parry even when the exclamation mark comes out from there, right? Hi. These bites are strong ass. I do like that. Let's try and bait this loser down here and just... Get it to get chopped on. Get bit. Nice. Uh, so, w when I say there's a place in rugby that's a waffle house, you really have to say that with a little pinch of salt because, like, I mean, you might, if you're from a, a newer country, I guess, or a country with a larger infrastructure, um, help. You might be persuaded that maybe Waffle Houses have <laughs> some sort of size to them? This place is tiny, it's got like two seats. <laughs> Even those aren't really very big. I, I can't describe it, it's like you're eating in someone's front room, which... I understand indeed some countries have places where you literally eat in someone's front room, but... This is not someone's front room, and we don't have that sort of thing in our country. Oh, yeah, do we? You can imagine um, in England that will be some places where people's front rooms or, or like they just they just make the uh, make their food or serve their beer in in a, in a particularly smaller place than, than everybody else. So it may once have been somebody's front room, but I wouldn't say that it is now. For example. Keep putting these down and keep making fire. PK fire! So smash up. Haven't haven't got the new smash. Haven't got any Come on. We're gonna lose this, and the reason we're gonna lose this is that I held onto this hunter's grenade like an absolute moron. I apologize for um I keep trying to say gatekeeping, I mean sandbagging. Told you. Wasn't wasn't paying attention. Oh, why? That was difficult. I didn't have any way of hitting the boss when it's in its floaty around form, and I did not consider that until it was too late, right? I didn't even have the op- I don't think any of the, um... We could have bought something with cells, but I'd already given all my cells away. That was terrible. I did like that weapon, although I generally don't appreciate um, uh, the sort of weapon, the big build-up type weapons, but when you time it right, it's really satisfying. Um, but uh, it just wasn't good. <laughs> I can do better, and I have done better, and you've seen it, because the only reason I had that sword is that I was doing better. I like Twin Daggers. Don't really like Rampart. It does do a parry, though. We should try another shield run, because... Shield runs are fine until you get to conjunctivitis, so we'll do that next time, but until then, thank you for watching this. I don't know if I'm going to record that today, because I'm really warm and I don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for listening to me waffle on about Belgium. I will get to the conclusion of that, uh, that anecdote in the next episode. So, a uh, bit of a cliffhanger, so make sure you watch, because if you don't watch, you won't know what happened in Belgium when I drove through it on the way to, or possibly from, the Netherlands, where I have been. So, thank you for watching again. And I'll see you next time. Gordon Bennett, this is a hard game.